Okay, so now we've got we've got our strategic initiatives defined. Let's go ahead and see what that means. So now we're going to go ahead and get that 12%. In this case, now what we're going to do is, and you know, I've got kind of my finance hat on, which is, okay, now we want to grow revenue by 12%. I can see my two-year compounded annual growth rate. I can see the prior year growth rates. I can see prior year sales, et cetera. If I go ahead and put in that 12%, you can immediately see that down below, you know, we can see there's been some changes uh, where you can see our risk factors have changed. If I focus on North America, you know, if I click North America in the top, you can see I have my three countries in North America below. If I click on EMEA, you can see that I have my EMEA countries as well. And again, this is an example of another strength of Anna plan, which is really being able to plan at multiple levels of detail. In this case, I've planned kind of at the top of the house. Anna plan has determined that that, you know, 12% increase over prior year sales uh, gets me to my final year target of 618. That 618 has now been actually automatically allocated down to the countries within North America. And then within a country within, let's say, if we focus within the United States, that's now been also allocated out to my different brands. So now if we kind of go down a level, you can see that we've got our 12% assumption, but we can also you know, put holds and overrides on that. So for instance, you can see that US right now is at a 12% growth is assessed as low risk. Well, what if I go ahead and push that to 15%? So I'm going to put in 15% and I'm going to choose to override that. And Anaplan is automatically recalculate what my final target is. But you'll notice that I'm still held to that 618. So that's, you know, um, I'm able to adjust kind of at that next level down the mix of how I want to get there. But I'm still being squeezed to that initial target. This is an example of being able to plan at, at two different levels of detail with you know within Anaplan, which is a key strength. You just you can establish your hierarchies and then pick whatever level in those hierarchies you want to plan to and also reconcile you know the top to the bottom. In this case, what Anaplan is doing is it's proportionally allocating that 618 based on you know based on the initial target, but then it's also taking into account any adjustments that I'm making and still making me come back to that 618. If I now go down to a lower level now across another to another dimension like product where I can see my different brands and so on, I can also uh, uh, you know, make adjustments here where I could say, you know what, for brand one, I'm going to go ahead and, and push that brand a little bit. I'm going to go into 120 million, but you can see I'm still being held to that 486. So you can adjust that mix of kind of how you want to get there. Now, this is good from a yearly planning perspective, but what about taking this and seasonalizing it by month? So if we kind of scroll, if we scroll down here, you'll notice that we have now monthly data available, but I have nothing for brand for brand one because I haven't selected a seasonality. So in Anaplan, you can you can pick from a library of seasonal seasonal methods. You can also dynamically add new methods on the fly as part of that as part of that agility, uh, which you're going to see a little bit later on. So you can do like a straight line spread, which is again 10 million a month. You could also automatically reference that prior year seasonality. Or you could actually, you can see everything's just dynamically changing. Or you could put in a custom, custom seasonalization right now. So you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and just clear this. And I'm going to go into my, my custom drivers. And here's where you can, under that custom method, say, you know what? I want to take 100%. I'm going to start by spreading that flat. But then what I want to do is put a bump in September. I want to put a bump in October and maybe a bump in, in November and maybe have no, December be a bit more flat. So now I'm just going to go back to my full year, put in 100%, just proportionally adjust everything. You can see my chart below is dynamically moving. So now what I have is a net new seasonal method that then I can go back to my previous dashboard and just go ahead and select that custom method. And now what you get is that is that bump in October, November, sorry, September, October, November. So again, and you can see that Anaplan responds immediately to that input, right? And there's another strength of Anaplan, which is that in-memory calculation engine. Everything you're seeing here is in memory. So any, you know, any changes you make to upstream inputs automatically recalculate downstream outputs with no delay in between. There's no batch processing required within Anaplan. There's no like F9 calculate button required. Everything is instantaneous and in memory. And that really saves a ton of time.